This, pro this exercise will help us understand how to process discern alerts correctly. So briefly, I wanted you to see um, how discern alerts pop up. Um, note on this patient, the patient has been prescribed metoprolol. Um, if I go in and I place an order by clicking on the add button and I type in Coreg and the medication Coreg comes up, I left click on Coreg and then you can see that there are certain order sentences designed for Coreg and let's say for instance I prescribe 6.25 BID with meals of, of Coreg and I click OK. What Cerner is doing at this stage is trying to um, measure what's already on the catalog, the order catalog for the patient and trying to test it against any any interaction. So this window that pops up is called the Medication Clinical Decision Support Alert. It says that you are trying to place Coreg um, and, and that it's conflicting with the current order of metoprolol. And so uh, when, when a, such a window pops up, there are several options on this window that uh, uh, we can exercise. Um, and that is, um, we can choose to uh, discontinue the metoprolol and continue to place the Coreg order um, within the same window. So what will happen is when we click continue, the metoprolol will get discontinued and Coreg will get started. Alternatively, we can say, select override reason and say uh, not clinically significant, not applicable, or no alternative, or any of these reasons we can pick um, as override reasons. And we can say, well, in this case, it's not applicable. I want to prescribe Coreg as well as metoprolol. So that's the second option, that you can actually prescribe both meds. And then the third option is to remove new order, which is down here. Remove new order means um, I don't want to prescribe Coreg. I want to keep the metoprolol going. So those are the three options to review. Either we discontinue the metoprolol or we, um, or we uh, prescribe both metoprolol and Coreg or we have the option of removing Coreg. So those are the three possible actions. So in this case, um, a duplicative therapy alert is saying that you're prescribing two beta blockers at the same time. And so most of the time people are not on two different beta blockers at the same time. So at this stage um, I'm going to choose to discontinue the metoprolol and, con and, and continue to place my Coreg. So when I click continue I have processed the alert uh, and then I click done to close my search box and you can see that here it's stating that we will be discontinuing our metoprolol and then instead of the metoprolol placing the patient on Coreg. Um, one must be cognizant on the start date and time of orders so to to be cautious the, the Coreg will start today at 5 p.m. that's military time. We can uh, uh, at any time adjust the date and time of these orders so uh, to for clinical appropriateness. So, and then if you click sign here, now it just places the order into the system. And if you click refresh, you will see that the metoprolol here has been discontinued and the Coreg is now ordered. This concludes this lesson. Thank you.